So you want to know how to go viral on TikTok in 2020. Let's talk about it. So if you're watching this video right now, you're probably just downloading TikTok and want to get famous. You've been on it for a while and aren't going viral and want to know why. Or you watched my first video, which was how the For You page works back in 2019. And I said I was going to do an updated version and here it is. Uh, coincidentally, that is by far my most viewed video. So I hope you guys enjoy this one because there's been a lot of changes. And uh, since I posted that video, they have changed the algorithm. And I'm going to talk about that in this video, as well as I'm going to show you basically a foolproof way if you want to post a video and get a lot of views. But I'm going to explain why that might not be the best strategy. And don't worry, I'm going to come back to the formula for getting a viral video. It, it works. I'll show you a real world example. So for all of you that don't know me, I go by Coach Olney online. Here is my TikTok. Um, the previous video I posted about the For You page and algorithm, I actually pulled 100% of that data from uh, someone that talked to the TikTok engineer. So that was all based 100% came straight from TikTok. What I'm going to be talking about today and the changes that they've made to it are not officially released by TikTok because I'm, I'm halfway popular on that app. I, I know a lot of creators and I know some people that work at TikTok. Um, so this is not as like definite, but this is what I've been told. So let's talk the big changes. The biggest one since 2019 to 2020 is they're changing their algorithm to be more ad friendly. They need to start making money. They're a giant company and they need to start worrying about how they're going to pay their bills. And so they changed the algorithm to be a lot more regional based, meaning, uh, you know, one of the big things advertisers look at when they're trying to promote on a platform, um, they go into your analytics and they want to see your demographic. Um, and they want to know who they're going to be targeting, right? And a big part of this, Instagram is a good example. Instagram did this back in, I think it was 2015 when they changed their discovery algorithm to be more regional. So that's advertisers who want to hit a certain market know that they can do that. And so that, that, that affected a lot of creators. That was a big one. That, that affected a lot of creators in a, in a potentially negative way because it made it a lot harder for their videos to get the views they were before. Um, if you, so I live in Kansas, for example. So uh, my videos are more likely to get batched and sampled in the Midwest region, um, which can hurt if a lot of my audience is on the coast or like in the UK, which it was. Um, and that's hurt my channel personally quite a bit. Um, to preface this, I would still watch my previous video if you haven't, because when I'm talking about batch and well, I'm using these terms about their algorithm, it's important to understand what the algorithm was and how it's been changed because it's still relatively the same. It's not completely redone. So I would go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. Um, moving forward. So as we talked about in the last video, there's a weighted system to their algorithm and, and how it determines if you're making good content and if it should keep promoting it on the For You page. Um, and it looks like they've doubled down on completion rate. Completion rate seems to be the only thing they care about and, and or watch time. If it's a longer video, how long they're watching it and if they're rewatching it. Um, that is by far and away pretty much the only thing the algorithm cares about anymore. Shares are second. It does seem like shares are correlated, but not that much. And then when it comes to likes and comments, dude, they don't matter at all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you an example right now. So this is a video that I posted and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get this video up to a quarter million views and it got terrible engagement. Absolutely terrible. Look at those numbers. Very, very low likes and, and all that. I'll show you a comparable post right here. This video got like what? 17,000 views, like way more comments, way more likes and only 17,000 views compared to a quarter million. TikTok did not care. If you look at the statistics, they did not promote this on the 40 page very much. This was my followers and uh, a little bit on the 40 page, even though it got tremendous engagement, people did not complete the video. And because of that, TikTok didn't promote it. Um, the final thing, and this is like the most commented thing on my last video is why their videos aren't getting on the For You page. And it seems now that TikTok is not putting everyone on the For You page. Depending on what kind of posts you have, what region you're in, it appears that there's a queuing system for the For You page. And, and the reason for this is I think TikTok has now passed the point where um, the creators are creating more content than the users are consuming. That's my theory here because we're at like 1.5 billion downloads. Um, it's, it's blown up tremendously this past year. And because of that, a lot more people are making content. And so what seems to be happening is kind of a YouTube thing where there is more content now than what's being scrolled through. And because of that, 
all of the brand new videos that are being posted, especially by smaller accounts, are being queued. And so they're only being worked into the For You page as people are consuming whatever type of content you're posting. So if you post a video and it doesn't get any views, I mean, leave it up for like a solid 12 hours and we'll see what happens. Um, and depending on how long the queue is for what type of video you're posting, that's going to determine if you're gonna make it on the For You page. On top of the fact, if it flags your video, if you have some sort of um, shadow ban or whatever, which I don't know the specifics behind other than just post content that is uh, appropriate and you won't have to worry about that. Um, but that's what seems to be happening with why your videos aren't getting on the For You page. Okay, so that's like all the big changes. The rest of it, I think, like, like I said, go back and watch the other video if you haven't seen it. The rest of it kind of operates the same way. Um, but now I would like to talk about what everyone wants to know is how you get viral on the For You page. So the video I posted earlier, how did I get a quarter million views on that video with no engagement? Um, here's my recipe. And always keep in mind when you're, when you're posting videos to try to get views, completion rate is the most important. So what I did and the most foolproof way it seems on the, on the, on the platform to go viral is you post a video seven to nine seconds, seven to 10 seconds. That seems like the right window where it's just long enough to count as like a full completion, but it's not too long where you lose people's interest. Seven to 10 seconds, around the seven second mark, you're going to make some sort of vague punchline and you're going to make it a fast paced video. So kind of fast paced video with a punchline that's kind of obscure Put that all together, that's how you do it, okay? It, it, it sounds stupid, but let me explain. Because what users do, if you scroll, you see the video, the fast pace moving gets them to at least be like, okay, what's going on in this video? So if there's some fast pace moving, the camera shows something that you're not quite sure about, and then, the, and then there's a little more movement and the video ends, the person is gonna think that they're missing something. They're like, wait a minute, did I, what did I miss? Uh, like what was the punchline here? So then they rewatch it. I, I swear this, this, this works. People scroll will wait. The, the fast movement gets their attention because we're like goldfish nowadays. So they see that, they want to see what's going on. They see some sort of like punchline. Maybe you zoom into something. Maybe um, there's something just oddly placed, uh, you know, a peanut butter jar next to something random, you know, just anything random and then it, it maybe cuts to your face or it cuts to something else and then the video ends, humans just want to rewatch that because they're like, okay, what did I miss? And then you, you put some sort of caption that's just like vague that doesn't add anything to the plot or maybe it's just completely not even relevant to the video just to confuse them more. That's how you go viral. I, I promise it works. You see it on your For You page all the time. Uh, people use this sort of same strategy by posting like, you know those videos where there's an image where it only lasts for like a blink and then the, the theory behind there is you want to go rewatch it to see what blinked. It's not to get likes. It's not so that you double tap it and get likes. The theory is that you missed it. So you're going to have to rewatch the video to see what it was. Therefore they get their completion rate. That's how it goes viral. So that's how you do it. It's relatively simple. The reason that you might not want to do that is because it doesn't actually add any value to your page. The video that I posted with 250,000 followers that day, I gained less followers than the day before that when I had a video that got, I think it was 9,000 views. No one followed me off that video, no one understood, and it didn't add any value to my brand, my image, my mission, nothing. It was not a video that added anything to, to my audience, and so therefore I don't like posting stuff like that. It doesn't help me at all. It doesn't help me connect with the people that watch my videos, it doesn't help me sh share my message. It, it, yeah, sure, it reaches a bunch of random people, but why does that really matter, you know? So I would, I would urge you guys to focus way more heavily on what kind of brand you're trying to build, what your message is, what you're trying to achieve with the app, versus just trying to hack your way into views. Because it, it can be done, I, like I said, I, I proved it, you can go on my page and see, I never post stuff like that, and then I posted that video, and I commented on it, doing this for a video, testing a theory. And it worked because it's just how, I mean, like I said, you like, it's easy to hack, but it's not always the best idea. Hopefully this update gave you guys a better understanding of how the For You page works, how TikTok works and all of that good stuff. 
Um, if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'll check them out. I really appreciate you guys. If you're interested in esports, video games, anything like that, I have a ton of videos on my channel about that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.